We testified in front of the House Foreign Affairs Committee on the implications of the Ukraine crisis for U.S. policy in the Indo-Pacific region. The question I was asked to answer is what are Chinese lessons learned from the Russian invasion of Ukraine? On February 4th, China signed a No Limits Partnership with Russia. And that joint statement, that partnership has sparked significant questions about the China-Russia relationship. So given Russia's aggression in Ukraine, there are significant questions as to whether China will engage in similar behavior in the Indo-Pacific. And of course, the attention was on how China may act against Taiwan. We discussed that while Taiwan is the most obvious near-term flashpoint in the region, we also discuss other ongoing crises in the region, including in the South China Sea, in the East China Sea, on the Indian Chinese border, and of course, ongoing instances of China's use of economic coercion against multiple countries. We were very impressed by how engaged congressional members were at looking at the potential lessons learned for Ukraine for the Indo-Pacific region. They seemed particularly interested in thinking through what legislative actions could help prompt a more robust response in the Indo-Pacific region. Moving forward, we'll be looking for what Congress does in terms of budgetary priorities, particularly looking at foreign military sales, foreign military financing, but also what the House has to say about the rules that govern technology transfer to our closest allies. The bottom line is that actions taken before a crisis starts stand a better chance of success. What's really important here is that we maintain a unified position on Ukraine with our allies and partners moving forward. And we want to make sure that whatever way that the conflict might settle or end, China does not take the lesson that Russia has achieved any of its major objectives that it wants to achieve in Ukraine. While it's too early to draw definitive lessons about how the crisis is unfolding, it's not too early to begin thinking about how the United States and its allies can build upon the template that they've drawn in the Ukraine crisis sharpen it, and apply it to the Indo-Pacific region. For more on our testimony and this critical issue, please visit CSIS.org.